chatting with you here today with Michael S. Rodriguez. How are you doing today here at the Weekend Blender? Oh, I'm doing great here. Uh, lots of people in here, lots of costumes, lots of activities going on, um, having a great time meeting new fans, meeting uh, fans of my work, future fans, uh, people that I inspire. Um, it's a great time. You're a director, producer, writer, and actor. When you first started, which one did you start as? I started as a writer first. I always had the ability to tell a really good story, even when I was really young. Um, so writing has uh, always been my first my first passion. And then uh, I kind of got thrown into directing when I couldn't get anybody to direct my first film. And, you know, I, I learned how to mesh the two and became a, a decent writer-director. Producing came along later on, and uh, that's a whole category on its own. Which one of these areas are you uh, more pursuing more of? Um, directing. Uh, de it's always directing. Um, acting, I'm starting to get involved in. I've had a few roles recently. And uh, if more come, um, it's kind of a... It's kind of... I've gotten bitten by the acting bug, so... But it's it's not my true passion. My true passion is to to direct things on, uh, on camera. With all the ideas and stories that you have filmed, more or all is horror. Why? Why? Um, because horror is one of those uh, genres where everything is off limits. Uh, in, in certain drama, in, in certain comedies, you have a certain formula you follow to, to make that happen. And in horror movies, anything can happen. Um, there was a movie recently that came out by James Wan called Malignant, and the beginning starts off very supernatural, very kind of weird, and then there's a bizarre twist at the end that comes out of like nowhere, and you're like, you freaked out, and you're like, wow, I, I wasn't expecting that. And you don't get that with a lot of other, like, um, with dramas, with, with thrillers, or with comedies. You kind of get a straight formula, but when you do horror, anything goes. So anything can happen in horror. The stories and ideas that you create, are those related or connected to something or ideas uh, or, or ideas uh, keep going inside your head? You know what? It's a mixture of both. I do try and I tend to write what I know from experiences. I've done so many things in my life I'm close to 50 years old, but I've done so many different things. I've worked in hospitals. I've worked in like crazy environments where I've taken a little bit of that experience and I've mixed it with fiction, my storytelling ability, and um, it it kind of rings true with fans and and uh, you know and and it works for me. Your latest short film is called Dealings. Mm -hmm. Besides the storyline of the film, there's a twist or connection at the end. Yes. Uh, how did this idea get inside your head? How does your mentality work? Well, that's a good question. Um, Dealings was an interesting story. I wanted to try something different besides horror. And uh, as I started writing this, um, I just started thinking about the different ways people in real life deal with one another now sometimes when you have a situation like a family um, say you have a family tragedy everybody acts differently some people um, are very saddened by it some people seek motivation uh, through money and what they can get from it so you have all these different personalities that either want something or feel a certain way and sometimes it's it's a good-natured feeling and sometimes it's a devious feeling of, of somebody that wants something and I thought to myself I want to bring that to the screen is there any more ideas or films or whatever chaos inside your head oh always always I you know um, I have very vivid dreams mostly every night so I always write things down I always think of things I got I got lots of stuff coming out in 2022 um, and I'm constantly writing and I'm constantly putting pieces together. Um, 
anything, everything gives me an idea. Uh, you may walk away right now and, and the bag you're holding may give me an idea and I might write something about it. If people wanted to get more info and updates on you, where can they go? Um, my social media is uh, Instagram, MSR Studios One. Uh, I'm under Michael S. Rodriguez on Facebook. And you can always go to my YouTube channel, Michael S. Rodriguez, uh, on YouTube, of course, and you can check out my trailers. And I occasionally put a short film on there for free. Thank you very much, everyone. Michael S. Rodriguez. Thank you very much.